Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Thank you for tuning in to the Nutanix and Big Switch joint webinar. Today we have a great lineup for you to deliver the goodness of Nutanix and Big Switch. From the Nutanix end, we have technical marketing engineer Jason Burns and director of network engineering Raul Robles. From the Big Switch end, we have director of product management Bala Ramachandran and technical marketing engineer Don Jaya Cody. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, feel free to ask them on your right-hand side, and uh, we will have a Q&A at the end. Um, also on your right-hand side, you will find uh, a couple of links uh, our to our joint solution brief, as well as uh, a PowerPoint of our slides. Um, now I think I will uh, pass it off to Jason. Jason, take it away. Thank you, Aaron, for that introduction. So today I want to talk about the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud and how the Nutanix solution can help eliminate complexity in your data center. And then I'm going to invite Bala to talk about the big switch cloud first networking and how you can eliminate that same complexity from your own network and how Nutanix and the big cloud fabric together build a joint solution to simplify your data center. Next, I'll have Raul from Nutanix IT talk about implementing Big Switch in our own data center at Nutanix. And Don is going to go through a demo of this solution so you can see exactly what we're talking about. And finally, at the end, we'll wrap it up with a Q&A. So first, we'll go through uh, an overview. So in the next 45 minutes to an hour, you're going to learn uh, how IT complexity is hurting your business and what you can do to reduce or eliminate that complexity. So let's look at the ways that your infrastructure is too complex. First, it's time con consuming to provision all of the IT infrastructure that you have today. And because this infrastructure is complex, that means there are multiple points of failure. Next, it's difficult because it's so complex to scale the systems or upgrade your existing storage and compute infrastructure. And you have to buy that infrastructure up front. And finally, your IT staff has little time left for real business innovation. So your specialized IT staff is spending time feeding and caring for an IT infrastructure rather than adding value to the business. That complexity is actually compounded by your customers' expectations being reset by the cloud. Your, your customers, if you're IT, your consumers can actually go straight to someone like Amazon or Google with just an email address and a credit card and in a few minutes, deploy a VM without going to enterprise IT. They can get one-click simplicity where they spin up a few VMs right away without having to worry about the infrastructure. They can pay for just the VMs that their department is using, and they don't have to worry about maintaining the infrastructure in the long term either because it will just be upgraded underneath them. So a lot of these are huge value to consumers of IT, and that resets those consumers' expectations. So now that we have some idea of the scope of the problem, uh, what does Nutanix do to help solve that problem, to help eliminate that complexity? So we have taken the storage and the compute and the virtualization that you use to run your business applications and built all of that into the Nutanix Enterprise Cloud platform. So with using locally attached disks and a controller virtual machine, uh, we're presenting you with a scale-out storage fabric that also provides virtualization built in. The Nutanix fabric is built on a distributed scale-out model and this Nutanix controller virtual machine has direct access to the disks that are running uh, in every one of these servers, and that provides you the ability to 
to run your VMs, to run your applications on top of any one of these servers, and then you get a distributed storage fabric spread across this pool of servers. So the critical piece here is built around the top of rack networking, as you see in this diagram. And so that's why we're working here today with Big Switch. So all of these Nutanix nodes plug into, you know, 10, 25, or even 40 gig top of rack switch networking. And that distributed storage fabric is built on top of the top of rack network. Nutanix virtualization is provided by AHV. So we've built our own hypervisor uh, with hardening for security built in, and that's included with the Nutanix platform at no additional cost. And a key driver is that Nutanix AHV can eliminate complexity because it's built in and because it's managed by the same portal that all the rest of the Nutanix storage fabric is uh, managed by. Nutanix also provides flow for native networking services. So if you're running AHV, you have built-in virtual networking with VM to VM micro segmentation, as well as network automation and service insertion. And that's the piece that we're here to talk about today is the integration with the physical network. So flow can help you simplify your network policy management to provide application security for VMs and containers running on Nutanix. And again, all of this is managed by a Prism UI, so one central GUI to manage your virtual machines and applications and their security policies. And this platform, the Nutanix platform, can power any workload. So whether it's big data workloads, uh, unified communications, VDI, or even business critical apps, this Nutanix virtualization, compute, and storage platform can power your applications. And with that, I'll hand it over to Bala to talk about how the big cloud fabric can provide a platform for the Nutanix system, and then also to talk about how to bring these two systems together. Follow. Thank you, Jason. Nutanix and BigSwitch are great ecosystem partners, and um, it's remarkable that both the companies are leveraging public cloud principles in building out their respective enterprise cloud products. Uh, we'll now discuss BigSwitch's cloud-first networking approach, what we mean by that, and how the company is redefining networking with this approach. But first to uh, set the context, let's take a quick look at the evolution in networking over the past couple of decades. Um, so it started with the internet era, uh, which was primarily driven by innovation and networking. Ethernet, TCP IP emerged as key technologies that enable standardization, interoperability, lowered the cost, and uh, we also saw broad-based adoption of these technologies across different types of traffic, including voice and video. Then came the Web 2.0 era, where the application needs evolved, requiring more infrastructure agility, while the network architecture was stuck with legacy box-by-box -box approach, which was manual, complex, had a very high operational costs. So there was a lack of innovation in networking to the extent that hyperscale companies which were coming up uh, during the Web 2.0 era took it upon themselves to lead the network innovation rather than relying on vendors. So by leveraging two key principles, software-defined networking and open networking hardware, they were able to innovate and bring network infrastructure agility and simplicity and uh, really make the network invisible to applications. So in the hybrid cloud era that we are in now, 
um, organizations have uh, very similar issues uh, with the applications in, in the way they want to deploy applications. And they are looking for an architecture based on the same cloud-first principles for their on-prem environments. That is, you know, principles like software controls, open networking, um, and a logical networking construct called VPC, or Virtual Private Cloud. Now, all of these uh, to help them get CapEx and OpEx benefits. Now, with the advent of IoT and 5G, we will see these needs expand into the edge environments in the future. So overall, it's an exciting time to be innovating in the networking industry. And we will next see how Big Switch is bringing these innovations based on cloud principles into mainstream customers. So hybrid cloud has been top of mind for end users. Typical hybrid cloud deployments today tend to be siloed with their on-prem deployment managed by IT teams, and um, the cloud deployments are managed by cloud teams. They have very different environments and very different architecture. So uh, the, the answer that the traditional vendors have come up with is they're taking a very legacy approach of bringing their uh, box-based solution as a, a virtual entity to deploy in the cloud. Uh, we call this approach the virtual hardware or vHardware where they're trying to fit a legacy architecture into the cloud. In contrast, the cloud-first approach is taking the innovations and architectural principles of public cloud and applying them to the on-prem environment. And fundamental to this is the concept of VPC everywhere. That is, VPC used as a logical networking construct of operations in both public and private clouds. And similarly, analytics everywhere for consistent visibility and troubleshooting across the different cloud environments. Now let's try to understand uh, this in some more detail. There are multiple levels of innovation to talk about. First, if you look at the physical network infrastructure, uh, the public cloud companies have physical network infrastructure that is completely hidden from the end user and it is entirely managed by the cloud provider. In the same way, big switch offerings such as the big cloud fabric present the entire network fabric as one resilient logical switch for on-prem environments. And these are built with the same cloud-first principles, open networking hardware from vendors such as Dell, HP, Acton, and software-defined networking controls. So as the infrastructure is scaled out elastically, there is no additional complexity in operations. And this is uh, for both day zero and ongoing operations, which is very critical. So this is the first level of infrastructure innovation that we bring into our product, leveraging uh, public cloud principles for the on-prem enterprise cloud. So the next level of innovation from the public cloud providers is the concept of logical networking. So in a public cloud, the end user really operates in terms of logical constructs, known as VPC or uh, virtual private cloud. And uh, as Jason mentioned, it, it just takes a few minutes to de deploy one of these in a public cloud. And within that, they have network elements such as subnets, routers, to uh, deploy applications. One can create multiple such VPCs for multi-tenancy, and VPCs can be peered through gateways to be able to communicate across different VPCs. There are also connectivity op uh, options to on-prem environments to enable hybrid cloud use cases. Now, for the enterprise cloud with Big Cloud Fabric, we have a very similar construct called the enterprise VPC, which is a multi-tenant construct within which applications can be deployed. So very similar to the public cloud, we have elements like segments and logical routers. And in addition, the unique thing about the EVPC is that they can be integrated with orchestration systems like Nutanix Prism um, to automate um, networking in hyper-converged environments. So with these integrations, one can further automate EVPCs um, so when uh, VMs are instantiated and networks are created for those VMs in the orchestration system, the automation automatically happens within these EVPCs. 
it achieves the benefits that the cloud set out to provide with the network being invisible to the application being deployed. And we are able to operate the network at the speed of VM, and it can be elastically scaled up or down as needed. So with this EVPC innovation that Big Switch is bringing, um, enterprises are now able to experience cloud-like benefits for their on-prem environments through rapid application deployment and simplified change management. Now with that background, let's get into the details of um, the joint Nutanix Big Cloud Fabric solution. And, and then we will hear about an exciting uh, customer case study uh, of how this solution is deployed at uh, Nutanix IT, uh, followed by a demo. So let's dive right into the solution. So the solution consists of Nutanix AHV nodes that could be deployed across multiple racks. And these racks, uh, these nodes are managed by uh, Nutanix Prism. Big Cloud Fabric is the physical leaf spine cloth fabric built with open networking switches, providing connectivity across these Nutanix hosts. The entire fabric is managed by a central um, SDN based BCF controller. Then you have the Switch Lite OS, which is the OS running on the open network switch platforms themselves. And uh, these platforms, these uh, switches, uh, could be from various vendors such as Dell, HPE, or Acton. There are no complex protocols run within the fabric, and the centralized SDN controller acts as a single pane of glass to manage the entire physical network as a single logical uh, resilient entity, as I mentioned earlier. Now, when BCF controller connects with Nutanix Prism, uh, Nutanix EVPC is created as a logical construct of operations within BCF. The integration between the BCF controller and Prism enables physical automation, physical network automation for um, the AHV workloads within the EVPC. And it also provides unique um, visibility and troubleshooting benefits for the network administrators combined with uh, you know, a lot of information, endpoint information about the AHV nodes themselves on the BCF controller dashboard. So we'll go into the details of this uh, soon and we'll also see it in action in, in Don's demo. So Big Cloud Fabric Controller acts as a single point of integration with Nutanix Prism to offer EVPC level network automation. So when a network, uh, when a Nutanix node is added, it is automatically detected through link detection mechanisms, and it's automatically admitted into the fabric through the creation of multi-chassis lag to the fabric switches, making this a zero touch operation. And uh, the Nutanix endpoint information is also learned from Prism. And uh, the BCF controller provides host level visibility, including host name, vSwitch, PNIC information, et cetera, right on the uh, BCF controller dashboard. Now, as networks are configured on uh, Nutanix Prism for VMs on HV nodes, the integrated solution enables auto configuration of logical segments within the EVPC for the Nutanix endpoints in the in Big Cloud Fabric. Now, newly created VMs are dynamically learned as an endpoint in Big Cloud Fabric, and the corresponding network segments are automatically created within the EVPC. Also, when uh, AHV VMs and the associated networks are deleted or modified uh, on Prism, the BCF automatically deletes or modifies the corresponding logical segments within the, the Nutanix EVPC. And BCF also learns from Prism and displays on the controller dashboard VM endpoint information, including VM name, VNIC information, etc. Now you'll see that these are excellent tools which are available to network admins when they get into a troubleshooting uh, session. So talking about troubleshooting, um, we have uh, this excellent uh, capability for uh, fabric level troubleshooting with VM to VM traffic visibility for uh, uh, Nutanix EVPC across the entire leaf spine uh, fabric 
which can be visually displayed on the BCF controller through the uh, capability. So this is uh, called a path trace capability where uh, you are able to trace the path from a source VM um, to the source leaf, uh, spine, destination leaf, and destination VM all the way across the fabric. This is just a, you know, a single click operation from the BCF controller. Now this level of visibility to traffic um, which just cannot be achieved with box-by-box -box networking helps rapidly determine if an application issue is network related or is it compute related without going through tedious trouble ticketing processes. Now there is also a capability to see the logical view of the path from one endpoint to another in the fabric, again through a single click operation on the controller. You will be able to see all the segments and the EVPC router in the path and uh, this will help an admin troubleshoot any issues at a logical level. Now BCF um, has advanced fabric analytics uh, for uh, Nutanix EVPC and it captures VM related information, like things like the VM name, the creation time, um, PNIC information and so on, and a time series of events related to the VMs is available in the, in, in the analytics dashboard. Now this is a very beneficial thing when you're uh, going through a troubleshooting session if you want to narrow down the specific time interval when an event occurred. These are extremely useful tools which can save admins several hours in troubleshooting. Now the joint solution has gone through the Nutanix certification process and uh, Big Cloud Fabric is now Nutanix ready certified for the AHV integration. So customers can confidently deploy this joint solution. Now, finally, Big Switch Networks and EPS Global have partnered together in offering a tightly integrated Nutanix-ready networking bundle, which is a single SKU for easy ordering. It delivers all the EVPC automation and visibility features that I talked about. It's a great way to start your joint Nutanix BCF deployment which can then be scaled seamlessly as your workload needs grow without any additional operational complexity. Now I'm very excited to invite Raul to talk about the Nutanix IT deployment of the joint solution. Over to you, Raul. Uh, thank you, Bala. Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Raul Robles. I'm the Director of Network Engineering here at Nutanix. I uh, want to describe a little bit about, you know, who we are and what we do. So, um, you know, we in, internally within IT, uh, we are one of the largest Nutanix customers out there. Uh, we have over 2,000 blocks, 8,000 nodes, hosting clusters for various teams across our organization. Our standard deployment consists of, you know, an IPMI interface and two 10 gig interfaces. Uh, and when you add it all up, that's 16,000 switch ports you know, and 8,000 IPMI interfaces. Uh, the majority of this infrastructure is hosted in, in our San Jose data center and designed with a traditional layer three uh, core switch with layer two switches home run directly back to the core. Now, given the way that our network was originally architected and organically grew, we found that we were unable to keep up with the needs of our teams. We had limited visibility and understanding of our workflows and bottlenecks in our environments. Our operational process for responding to engineering requests for network segments and configurations to hosts were slow and inefficient. Our flat network design left us vulnerable to spanning tree loops, security concerns, and SLAs that were difficult to manage. Uh, escalations were, were com becoming pretty common uh, when it came to, to operational network tests. Yeah. In early 2018, we were actually given the approval to, to deploy a brand new data center in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, working with our executive sponsor, our CIO, we were tasked with the opportunity to architect a solution around our specific use cases. Uh, we partnered closely with engineering teams to gather the details about their needs and identify the network capabilities required by our solution. Uh, based on our workshops, we came up with the following requirements. You know, whatever solution we were, to, were going to deploy uh, must allow for a multi-tenant environment where various teams across the company can exist independently. Uh, the solution must allow for automation and provide engineering teams the same capabilities and efficiencies of cloud providers. 
we wanted to empower our engineering teams to manage their networking needs for their environments. The solution also must be cost effective and scale to the ever changing network requirements of our technology. We looked at various solutions out there. Um, there, there was the incumbent Cisco ACI, Arista, Cloud Vision, Big Switch, and alternatives such as Cumulus with heavy investments in open source tooling for automation and orchestration. Timelines were also a factor. You know, we, were, we were definitely behind before we even started with this project. Uh, prior to speaking to Big Switch, we originally thought that our safest approach was going to be to stick with Cisco. However, once we sat down with Big Switch and dove into the capabilities of the product and saw the genuine interest across um, our internal teams, we knew which direction we wanted to pursue. Obviously, we've chosen Big Switch. We're partnering closely on delivering the network to our engineering teams in an entirely new fashion that provides the ultimate flexibility. We're finding that as our needs evolve during our, close, during our closer understanding of engineering needs, the Big Switch fabric adapts seamlessly to any changes. You know, we're running a total of 11 BCF fabrics. Um, each physical pod has 32 high-density racks. Um, you know, the, this slide illustrates a little bit from a high level the, the actual design, um, and the following one is actually a, a topology. So we have a total of four uh, BCF fabrics. Uh, the first three uh, consist of 40 gig topo rack switching along with uh, IPMI switching. Uh, all of it is, uh, is, is integrated with our BCF fabric. Uh, BCF4 actually consists of 100 gig uh, Dell leaf switches, as well as the, you know, the, the traditional 1 gig IPMI. Yeah. Currently, we're actually in the process of, of finalizing you know, um, our, our deployment in Phoenix. Uh, we've stood up the, the infrastructure, we've identified the first tenants, we've actually stood up, you know, the, the big switch network is fully up, up and running operational. Um, the IT infrastructure clusters are fully up and running, our InfoSec tenants are up and running, and we've got a few build environments that, that are currently uh, staged as well. Um, we're currently we're starting to move our workloads. Um, each, each wave uh, coming in is 50 blocks, 200 nodes. The remaining infrastructure will follow. You know, having the integration with AHV greatly simplifies the delivery in, of network services to our Nutanix clusters. Non-value added time from the legacy process has been completely eliminated. My team can now focus on much more innovation and no longer has to focus on operational tasks associated with supporting our engineering needs. We can provide our partners and customers access to environments that are isolated from other internal environments. We no longer need to go through this long and complicated legal process to on onboard partners and vendors when granting access. So th this is truly a partnership. Um, you know, we, we've, we've, we've been working together to improve both our products. Um, we are very excited here within Nutanix. Um, and, you know, this is just the beginning. And, and we're very excited about what, what, you know, what lies ahead in the future for us. Um, and on that note, I'm going to hand it off to, to Don for a demo. Thank you. And thank you, Raul. Thank you, Don. Uh, I'm getting a few reports from some members in the audience that uh, they lost the audio connection, uh, but I can still hear you. Uh, so if you're out there in the audience and, and you can't hear, if you could send in a question uh, for us, but if you can hear, um, then please send that feedback in as well through a question or feedback. All right. Thank you so much, Raul, for that uh, great explanation of your uh, entire implementation. So what I'm going to do today is uh, I'm going to go through a demo uh, of uh, the whole solution itself. And we'll start from scratch and quickly build up the topology. And we will see how exactly Big Switch is pitching into this entire Nutanix HP integration. So for the, today's demo, I have a three-rack Big Cloud Fabric topology like I've shown in here. I have already physically connected these uh, nodes to the fabric, and I have the prism running. And you will see how Big Cloud Fabric will automatically detect all these AHV hosts. It doesn't matter where exactly they are located. We don't really care whether you're connecting to a one rack or 50 racks. We will automatically discover all your AHV hosts uh, in the entire fabric. And once we have done that, I will bring in two web VMs, and you will see how exactly this enterprise VPC concept is coming into life. 
uh, we will automatically create a, a VPC for this uh, entire Nutanix HV cluster and create automatically create the network segments for these web VMs. And we will verify the connectivity after that as well. So once that is done, I will bring in another VM from a different VLAN. And at this point, you will see our distributed logical routing feature, how exactly the entire fabric will be able to handle layer two, layer three networking automatically for this entire Nutanix HV cluster. I'm all also gonna go through a couple visibility, troubleshooting, and analytics features so that you get a good idea of all the day two operations of the Big Cloud Fabric. So let's get started. Let me go ahead and log into the Big Cloud Fabric. So this is the Big Cloud Fabric UI. The important thing to remember here is now you're looking at the entire network as a single pane of glass. Just like that you would in a Nutanix Prism, all compute storage and virtualization is entirely handled from the prison itself. The only missing element in this infrastructure is the networking. And that's where the Big Cloud Fabric actually fills that hole. The whole network you can look at as a single pane of glass from this GUI, uh, from this UI. We have a full feature, fledge, um, uh, feature uh, rich um, CLI as well as REST API. So you can, you can do uh, all those single pane of glass operation from any medium that you wish. So this is that Big Cloud Fabric homepage. You will be able to see all memory and CPU utilization of your switches, who are the top tokers and top usage of the fabric, all that from a, a single pane of glass uh, UI from here. So under the Fabric tab, this is where we logically group all our physical uh, components. For example, all our physical switches, interfaces, all our MLAGs, connected devices, anything to do with the physical, we group it under this Fabric tab. And if you click on the Fabric tab, you will be able to see an entire topological view of the whole fabric. Over here, I have two BCF controllers and two spine switches as well as three racks. One thing to keep in note is you can start as small as two, just a one rack, and you can linearly scale up to all the way up to you know tens of multiple different racks. It doesn't really matter for us. The, the effort that you need to scale up the whole environment is pretty much zero. All you need to do is just physically plug in these guys and it will automatically create the fabric for, for you and will automatically discover the HV nodes. So in this topology, let's say you want to look at the link connections. You can quickly hit on the show links and it will show you exactly uh, the, the details. You can zoom into a particular switch and take a look at uh, connectivity from that switch angle. You can also quickly click on a switch and go inside the switch and really figure it out how exactly uh, looking the switch is. Like for example, like what ports and what power supplies are there on the physical switch. Anything to do with the physical switches, you can do it right from here. So this is the exact physical representation of that uh, entire switch, in, open switch in, in infrastructure. So you will see how this is very, very much similar to how today's public cloud works. You completely, they completely abstract the whole physical a networking infrastructure from the user over here. We, we are just like the open uh, in public cloud, we are utilizing the open networking uh, hardware and we, 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 are, we are able to actually give you all these benefits uh, uh, from the get-go. Now if we go into the interface groups, this is where you have our MLAG and LAG connectivity. If you look into the Nutanix nodes, as you can see there are no Nutanix nodes automatically detected on the fabric right now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the prism and show you how exactly the prism is laid out here. I have HV deployed and I have a three a host a Nutanix cluster de deployed. And if I go into my web VM tab, you will see I have uh, two VMs, web one and web two over here. Both are running on uh, 103 VLAN, 103.10 and 103.11. And if I click on a 103.10 web one VM and try to ping the other guy, obviously the connection would not go through. The reason being, we have not really configured the network yet, right? So in order to get this basic layer two network connectivity going, there are a lot of things that you have to do in our traditional network. You have to configure the span trees, you have to configure the VLANs and all those things. But in Big Cloud Fabric, this is extremely simple. If you go back to the Big Cloud Fabric, you will see we don't have a, if you go into the tenant VPCs, you do, you'll see that we don't have a VPC for the Nutanix yet. In order to get this whole integration going, there's only one single click, one single uh, form that you have to, a uh, template that you have to go through. 
So if you go under the integration tab, we have the Nutrinix Prism here. Let's click on it and let's add the Nutrinix Prism. So in this dialog box, we are actually pointing the Big Cloud Fabric at that Nutrinix Prism um, controller. We'll give it a name. We'll give the IP address and credential information. And here is where you actually define how you want to lay out the uh, whole HV infrastructure. You can create a single VPC, automatically create a single VPC, or if you want, you can actually create multiple VPCs. But in this case, we'll just stick to a one VPC. We will name it as a Nutanix VPC and hit Submit. And as soon as you hit Save, and if you refresh it, you will see the Prism is getting connected. Now, if you back up to that interface group that we were before, now you will see all your AHV nodes are automatically getting detected over here. You can quickly expand on the BR0 of the first guy. You will see exactly how the connectivity is laid out. We have configured a LHCP-based MLAG for these guys. We will automatically detect all these bond types from the AHV mode, and we will automatically warn you if this is not, some, it's not according to the best practice. But even in that case, you know, we will automatically detect all the bond types and configure the uh, interface group modes auto accordingly. Now, this, this is where the whole automatic host detection is happening. Now, we have automatically discovered it. Now, as you can see, if I go back to the Web1 VM, that traffic stream that I just started, it's already going, which means the connectivity is already established. So what does it mean? Let's try to go in a little bit dig deeper. Let's go into the prism and let's click on the prism. If you click on it, you will see there are a lot of different visibility information that we presented in the screen. We'll give you a summary of the whole networking infrastructure, last connected times, and here is the whole viewpoint of the AHV networking. We have three blocks over here. If you click on the BR0, you will see I have ETH2 and ETH3 connected to that Ethernet 30 of those uh, Rack2 Leaf1 and Leaf2 switches. And I have Web1 and Web1, uh, Web1 uh, tap interfaces connected to these, uh, these bridge as well. In the BR1, you will see if some, some, something is not connected, you will see that right away. So exactly very granular details. So all these tables, we will use it for different troubleshooting mechanisms. For example, physical connection tables will give you, will tell you how uh, Nutanix nodes are connected to the fabric. You can quickly filter out a particular block and see where are the links connected. The endpoint table is really useful you will be able to see all your CVM controller VM information as well as user VM information. You can quickly actually filter in or you can search in for a particular guy. If you search in for a web one, since we are using these web VMs, you will see how things are laid out, which VPCs is connected, where exactly it's physically connected, what are the MAC and IP and default gateway of those information. So as you can see, a lot of troubleshooting mechanisms that are available right away with just that, uh, that, that template that you filled uh, in earlier. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that VPC that, we, that automatically got created. Let's crawl it up and let's open up this Nodenix VPC. Over here, you will be able to see a very high level stats of the VPC, the usage, the segment, the top talkers of the, this VPC. And you will see we had created, uh, there was a VLAN 103 on, configured on that uh, Nutanix end, and we had created a segment for this VLAN 103. Now from the graphical uh, viewpoint, let's dig in a little bit deeper. This is my Nutanix VPC right here, and that segment 103 is hanging off of that VPC. And I have this default gateway 103.1.1.1 is configured as well. If you open up the segment, you will see we automatically figured it out where exactly which blocks participating on this network, and we automatically figured it out Web 1 and Web 2 endpoints are part of this segment as well, and we added that uh, to that segment. So as a result, the network connectivity is automatically established. Now, let's look at a different example. Now, I already had VLAN 103 configured. Now, let's say you are doing a little bit more networking. Let's say you're bringing in a new VLAN. In a traditional network, this is a very cumbersome process. You have to create troubleshooting tickets. You have to get the network team's permission. You have to uh, create routing between these guys, create SVI interfaces, and all those things. But in Big Cloud Fabric, it, is, it cannot be simpler than this. And you will see what I'm talking about. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Prism and create a new VLAN called VLAN 104. Let's go to the Prism. In the network config, 
I'm going to go to virtual network and name the VLAN app VLAN and give the VLAN ID of 104. And I'm going to give the default gateway, gateway of 104.1 here. And as soon as you hit save, this change will get automatically reflected on the BitCloud fabric. If you hit refresh, you will see that VLAN 104 got automatically provisioned. And that's for the app auto segment right here. And the default gateway 104.1.1.1 got automatically provisioned as well. Now, very interesting thing to keep in mind here is this default gateway is pretty much everywhere on the physical fabric. You, you don't re, we don't really care where you're physically connecting your network phase with device. Uh, as soon as you put a VM onto this network, it will be able to get, reach this default gateway. No need to configure BGP or routing or anything like that uh, to get this uh, default gateway configured. And this is entirely logical and entirely distributed across the whole physical fabric. Now, just to verify the connectivity, what we will do is we will go to the Prism and create a new VM and then uh, put uh, mark this as app VM and give IP address of dot ten and uh, add that guy and we will make sure the connectivity from that web one VM that we were using. Go and launch the console again and stop this traffic stream and let's ping the new one dot ten. And as you can see, the connectivity is going right away. So there are a lot of things. All this automation is pretty much, you know, single click from that initial dialog box that we filled in. We didn't do anything. BCF automatically discovered all the Netanix HP nodes, configured that VPC automatically, give all the flexibility and visibility information, and all those things are automatically provided to the, uh, to the network admin. Now, so those are those are all day one and day two operations. So what about the ongoing like ops, uh, day two operation kind of scenarios? What about the troubleshooting and visibility? Let's say, for example, let's say you want to catch, you have a problem with this traffic stream, you want to catch this, uh, you want to troubleshoot this traffic stream. You can go into the visibility tab, you can go into the test path, and over here, you can quickly pick a source and destination. In this case, we'll pick the source as our Web1 VM, and this can be anything. It can be a container, it can be a VM from some other cluster, or anything like that. In this case, destination, I'll pick up the app VM, and you can quickly run a couple things here. You can quickly do a logical trace to figure it out how exactly logically the configuration looks like, whether you have done, since everything is automatic, right, but you can still do like policy list and all those things auto by yourself. You can quickly figure it out whether the traffic is getting allowed. In this case, you will see the traffic is logically going through that v VPC 103 segment and go to the Netanix VPC and coming out off of that Netanix VPC 104. You can quickly fill, figure it out which policy list, which uh, ACL list that it's actually hitting. If it's getting blocked, it will say right away it's getting blocked. So entire logical trace will get handled right here. You can you can quickly be able to figure out whether the traffic would be meant to be forwarded or not. And the further level of, of uh, troubleshooting is the fabric trace. In here, you can actually figure it out where exactly the traffic is going. Let's open up a tra fabric trace and create a quick test. As soon as it hits submit, Vicloud Fabric Controller will start looking for this particular traffic stream. And it'll run for 30 seconds and it'll come back with a report. And we can say okay here and we can look at the traffic report over here. As you can see, it gives you exact hop by hop information. Traffic came in from that R2 L2 leaf switch and 30 packets comes in and it went to spine S2 spine switch and comes off of that BR0 bridge of that block C uh, Nutanix node itself. As you can see, Pretty much every level of detailed information is presented for troubleshooting purposes. One other important thing is BitCloud Fabric comes with an integrated analytics cluster. So under the visibility, you can go and click on the analytics. Let's do that right away. And this will open up the whole analytics uh, appliance itself. This is embedded to the BitCloud Fabric, and we have a separate section for the Nutanix HV. This analytics engine will catch all sort of historical information about the HV cluster, and it will keep it up to a, a certain time frame. Be able to take a look at from the cluster point of view, from the VM point of view, or from the network point of view on the HV cluster. You will be able to zoom into a particular time frame as well. So as you can see, there are tons of information and troubleshooting benefits provided on the Big Cloud Fabric. So apart from all the functionalities you've seen today, uh, we have a whole lot of other advanced networking functionalities as well. 
For example, um, let's go back to the Big Cloud Fabric and let's click on this Enterprise Cloud tab. This will give you an entire view of your VPC environment. And you will see the Nutanix VPC along with all other VPCs I have created here. I can click on the Nutanix VPC and it will highlight itself. And there are all other bunch of other uh, VPCs hanging uh, along with him. And this can be a Kubernetes clusters or any one of your compute clusters that you run on your data center. So let's say if you want to get into VPC communication just like in a public cloud, all you need to do is just establish VPC peering between these, uh, these VPCs. Furthermore, let's say another example. Let's click on this Nutanix VPC and let's go inside that. And let's say you want to actually give the uh, connectivity between these uh, uh, Nutanix VMs and the outside world. As you can see, the outside world is dotted out, which means there are no connectivity. And using our transit VPC mechanism, you can quickly establish the connectivity between the Nutanix VPC and then the external world. All you need to do is just hit the, uh, hit, hit the tenancy interfaces segment and import and export route, BGP routes, and all those things. It's pretty much clicks away. And as a result, you will be able to give your entire clusters outside access. This can be to your legacy network or this can be to your uh, to a public cloud as well. So I hope this gave you a good idea of why Nutanix IT decided to use Big Cloud Fabric to power up their own infrastructure. There are a whole lot of troubleshooting visibility automation benefits provided just from uh, with with a click uh, with a with simple click functionalities. And if you really want to try out all these things, you can actually go to our uh, labs.bigfish.com site to get free online and real-time access to our solutions. You can go to the labs.bigfish.com site. And um, with that, I will actually hand back to uh, Jason. Jason, you can take it over. Great. Thank you for that demo. So as you can see, you can add a Nutanix node to the Big Cloud Fabric and seamlessly provision that Nutanix server in the network. That's a huge benefit. You can also, straight from Nutanix Prism, add your VM networks. So thank you so much for that demo. That's great to see. At this time, I'd like to ask if there are any questions from the audience. And uh, I do see a few that have trickled in. So while you're preparing your questions, uh, I'll get start with, started with some that have already come in. And so uh, the first question is, is there any special licensing required for this integration to work? So from the Nutanix side, uh, there's no extra special uh, license. So this works natively with the starter license level as long as you have a Nutanix AHV cluster. From the big switch side, uh, there's also no extra licensing required. Yeah, that's right, uh, Jason. So it, you know the integration is available as part of the the regular license that uh, you get for Big Cloud Fabric. And Paula, I think this question uh, is for you. Uh, is, is this solution also supported for an ESX environment? in addition to AHV? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, so the integration uh, with the Nutanix ESXi environment is, is available, just like uh, with the AHV environment. And uh, so in this case, the BCF controller again acts as a single pane of glass to integrate with you know, both uh, vSphere and uh, Nutanix Prism. And all the automation and visibility benefits uh, that we talked about today are available for the ESXi environment as well. Okay. Uh, there, there's another question that came in. Um, is there a difference between this solution and GCP, the Google Cloud? So from the Nutanix side, uh, this is an enterprise cloud that you can build out in your own data center. So you have the ability to determine you know, how much power you need on your own premises, and you get to control that in your data center. But with Nutanix Prism and Big Cloud Fabric together, you get the seamless cloud view that you would get from someone like AWS or GCP. So the operation of it uh, is cloud-like. 
Paula, anything to add? Absolutely. I think uh, you've captured that. Um, so this is um, a solution for enterprise cloud, and um, it uh, you know it is based on cloud first principles as we talked about. And the experience that we are uh, targeting is, is very, very much like what you would get when you uh, go to something like AWS or GCP. And Bala, I think there's a, another question for you about BCS. Uh, is there any tap functionality uh, built into BCS? Um, yeah, so Big Switch actually offers a separate product um, called Big Monitoring Fabric, uh, which is um, you know an SDN-based uh, network packet broker. It has a very similar architecture to to Big Cloud Fabric. It it leverages open networking switches and it also has its own uh, controller. Um, so that can be used to uh, monitor Big Cloud Fabric or um, any other network from um, any other vendor. You can find more details of that in our website. Paul, well, there's another question for you here. Um, is there any threshold alerting or notification within the Big Switch solution to help with MTTI where the issue may be occurring? Uh, yeah, so there are quite a lot of uh, notification mechanism, like uh, anything that happens on the fabric, uh, even right now you will see that um, uh, you saw that in my demo, like there are like a bunch of warnings on the fabric, anything that gets warned or errored, it will get automatically notified to the user right away. And we are adding a lot of like alerting and notification functionalities, like uh, streaming uh, and uh, you know, uh, like uh, you can imp export all your all our analytics data out to your Kafka tops or you know any other uh, any other gRPC based uh, streaming mechanisms. So all these are offered, and we are actually uh, looking into adding a lot more other alerting and notification functionalities as a roadmap pipe items as well. Great. Well, thank you for your questions and thank you for your attention today. Uh, if you'd like to engage with Nutanix and your peers, feel free to tweet at Nutanix or at Big Switch. And you can use the hashtags here to continue the conversation on Twitter. We also have the Nutanix community forums online at next.nutanix.com. Um, I spend a lot of time there hanging out, answering network questions. Uh, you can also take a test drive of Nutanix to get a live view of Nutanix Prism so you can get your hands on the Prism interface or on the Big Switch interface that was dem demoed here for us. Uh, definitely take these up. It's really eye-opening to walk through these demos and compare that to what you might be using today. If you'd like to schedule a follow-up, uh, my email address is here as well, as well as Russell's from Big Switch and we'd be happy to talk with you further. So with that, thank you for your attention today. And remember, with just a few clicks, you can build a Nutanix and Big Cloud Fabric network with seamless network integration.